Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about setting up an air magnet project and importing a floor plan and calibrating the floor plan and getting it ready to survey. Uh, I had a friend ask me about uh, showing them how to do this, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a PowerPoint presentation of it and share it with you guys. Uh, first off, when you open up air magnets, you see this screen, and uh, this is just uh, seeing air magnet open up, and you can see all the different. Uh, tools up there but the first thing you do is you click on that new project wizard over in the upper left hand corner it looks like a magic wand <clears throat> and um, opens up and you can specify the project name uh, I'm going to use survey training as the project and of course it uh, automatically creates the directory and you can change that directory if you want to it just generates a directory and you notice I click the checkbox right below that that says set as default project directory. So all your files and your uh, surveyed access point files will go into that directory as you go. And of course you'll drop down and uh, click next. And here's where you import the floor plan. Uh, you Right there where the uh, bullet is over to the right hand side of that, the little blue box with the three dots, you can... Uh, click that button to go out onto your computer and look for a particular uh, floor plan that you want to use for your project. Uh, click that and import it and bring it in. And right below that it says floor plan dimensions. Uh, you really you really want to just leave that set at zero right now. We'll calibrate the drawing later and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and click next this uh, this screen here, the environment information, <clears throat> when you look at that, you have several offices, uh, areas, commercial warehouse, uh, outdoor free space. Uh, based on the obstructions, then um, it gives you a signal propagation assessment. I always like to use the office space, uh, open office space cubicles and things like that, um, or the restricted closed office. Uh, but down on the signal propagation assessment there, um, that drops down, I usually choose the restricted close office and uh, make my propagation 10 feet. makes me have to do a little bit more walking, but it makes the algorithm uh, project more accurate uh, readings for me. And of course, the AP default power, I'm going to be uh, surveying at 25 milliwatts because I'm surveying for a, uh, a voice application where the phone itself uh, does about uh, 50 milliwatts max power. So I'm going to survey for half power on the actual device that I'm surveying with. I'm going to fill that in and click Next. <clears throat> Here is the descriptive text where you can just make some notes about what you're doing. And uh, you can make notes about your project. I'm surveying for X customer. Uh, they're using these client devices, blah, 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 and just make some notes here. You don't have to put anything in there. It's just a good place to put some notes. So I've put in our magnet survey project, set up demo, click finish, and the very next screen that you're going to see is the calibration needed. Dimensions of the floor plan were left at defaults during the project creation. If you remember back to that screen, I will toggle back to it. Uh, right here where floor plan dimensions in the middle of the box there is zero and zero um, those were left empty so the floor plan needs to be created or needs to be calibrated so we're going to click yes here to calibrate do you want to recalibrate site dimensions after measuring yes you do so you want to recalibrate the entire site dimensions once you recalibrate your drawing so I will go up um, once I click out of that I want to zoom in use your zooming tool and zoom in on the uh, drawing to where you can find a door somewhere uh, most all doors uh, unless it's just something really odd is a three foot uh, 36 inch door so you can actually use that door if your drawing is really nice and calibrate the entire drawing off the door you can measure the distance of a room and type in the exact measurements of a room in one direction. You don't have to put in two directions. You don't need uh, 
north and south, east and west, or up and down, however. You just need one uh, measurement inside the uh, drawing. So I picked the door. So you use the uh, calibration tool up there. It looks kind of like a contractor square uh, right up under diff view. And you click on that and it will give you the option to click your mouse on one side of the door, drag it over to both sides of the door, and the drawing thinks that that distance across that door is 1.8 feet. And we're going to change that to 3.0 feet. And of course, we're going to click the button recalibrate right below. When you recalibrate, I want you to pay attention to the recalibration site dimensions just below that where it says 120 by 120. Once you click the recalibration button, the actual width and length of the drawing changes to fit the uh, real dimensions of the drawing and the floor plan. You click OK and now look at the floor plan. The floor plan is uh, displayed the way it should be. You need to go up immediately right there and click Save so that if you close this project or uh, air magnet uh, shuts down for some reason, <clears throat> battery dies or what have you, before you start surveying, your dimensions and uh, calibration will be saved. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of calibrating a drawing and getting it ready to be uh, used in, a, in an actual survey.